Welcome back to Life with Feet. Happy spring. With the springtime brings opportunities to go riding on the trails. And I got a lot of feedback from the last vlog I did about cycling, but I failed to let everyone know how exactly this recumbent trike works. There are a number of people who've reached out to ask how exactly does it work. So here's this vlog. It's all about how the recumbent works. And to start with, I do not use clips on my cycling shoes because if I clip my feet into the pedals, then it eliminates access to my feet, which I need for controlling my gears, for example, or my brake. This is an electric gear selector. I have eight uh, gears on this. So when I want to increase my gears, I press that little button there with my left foot or my right foot or my heel, depending on what I prefer. And if I want to decrease my gears, I actually press the button on the left. Now this right here is the brake. I usually brake with my heel. This has been basically cabled from the original brake down to here so I can reach it and safely brake when I have to. These rods right here that you see on both sides are actually how I figured out how to steer this recumbent. They were actually, um, found. I found these at a modified driving store and they're used for uh, people who are paralyzed or have different disabilities. But for me, that's how I'm able to steer this thing. Now we're still developing a way in order for me to steer at a very, very sharp angle. Um, I can steer at wide turns, but when it comes to sharp, sharp turns, I'm still a little bit limited. So we're working on that one. I'll let you know how that goes. And as we, as we go up here to where my head is resting, this is a headrest that is actually a vanity bag. My father-in-law found this vanity bag and just stuffed it so that I have a place to rest my head when I wanna take a break. Because having your head up at this angle for a long period of time can really tire out your neck and put some strain on the neck. Um, actually further up there, you see that little pack. That is my bike pack and I'm able to put items in there, like for example, my keys or my water bottle or something that I wanna carry with me on the ride. It's been really neat because I can get in and out of that with my foot, but I have to be standing and off the bike, of course, to do that. Now, as you can see on my head, I have this cool brim that is attached to my helmet. I'm from Arizona, the sun gets very intense out here and I cannot stand the sun on my face. So actually this brim has been wonderful to add it, to attach it to my original helmet in order to provide shade on my face. So for anyone who wants to find out about that, let me know down in the comments. I hope this video inspired you to believe that if you are creative enough, if you have ingenuity and innovation, you can find a way with whatever challenge you're faced with. Hey, if it wasn't for figuring out and being persistent and not giving up on this challenge of riding a bike or riding a recumbent, I wouldn't have been out on the trails. It was absolutely stunning. The flowers were out, the birds were chirping. There was even a branch with a whole bunch of flowers on it. I had to duck my head in order to avoid hitting it with my helmet. If you can find a way and not give up, it makes it all worthwhile. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one. And if you wanna help us produce more, please go to patreon.com slash toe talks and subscribe. Happy trails.